Welcome everybody to CubeFit. My name is Drew. I'm uh, going to go ahead and maximize our screen here. Hopefully you can all hear me okay. Uh, if there's any problems, just let me know in the chat box here and make sure I get them fixed. All right, so I'm going to take a step back here so that you can see me. Today we're going to be doing a body stretch, um, and not even just static stretching like what we think of a lot of the time. We just really wake the muscles up and uh, get active here with everything. So we sit a lot every day at work. It means that our glutes are very uh, underutilized. So I'm going to go ahead and get us working our glutes right now. So we're going to turn to the side, or I'll turn to the side here. We're going to start by doing some pelvic tilts. We'll tilt the camera down a little bit so you can see my hips a little bit. I'm going to put my hands on my hips, and all I'm going is I'm going to push back, pop forward, just nice and slow, squeeze, feel that you're activating your glutes, push back, pop forward again. Let's go ahead and do about 10 reps in place. So there's that real little movement of a hinge, back, and then pushing forward. Let's continue working here. This is just activating and kind of getting some blood flowing. We'll do about five more reps. In the last two, really exaggerate it. And good. All right, so we start to feel some blood flowing into the lower body here. And now we're going to do a standing twist. I'm going to use a, a chair for assistance. You can use a file cabinet. Uh, you can use your desk, whatever works good for you. So I'm going to pull my chair over here. I'm going to put it behind me. Okay, and in the standing position, I'm going to put one hand behind. I'm going to reach with the other. I'm just going to try to twist around as much as I can. I'll show from this position, too, if you just want to twist. Hold the deep breathing while you hold here. You should feel a pull throughout your spine, your abs, even into your upper back with it. A couple more breaths. All right, good there. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side now. All right, ready? Whenever you're ready, go ahead. Yeah, and make sure that you're continuing your breathing on this. We'll go about 10 more seconds. In three, two, one. All right, we're going to put the chair off to the side here. And now we're going to focus on our shoulder blades. So a lot of time when we're sitting at our desk, too, we start to slouch and we go into that forward head posture. So let's get really strong between our shoulder blades here. We're going to go with the arms bent about 90 degrees, so about right here. Okay, we're going to squeeze together here and then pull back and pinch the shoulder blades together. Go as far with that range of motion back as you can. So control to the front, pinch, hold it for about two seconds, then back to the front. We're going to do this ten times. I'll continue showing here. And you're trying to keep the elbow in line with your shoulder as well when you're doing this. I'm going to do two more of these. And the last one. All right, good. We can shake those arms out here. We're going to go back into the legs. We're going to come back to hips. Hip flexors get really tight from being in the seated position. So I'm going to stretch my hips out with a standing hip flexor stretch. So I'm going to place my right foot back, my left foot forward. Tilt the camera here so you can see a little bit. I'm just standing here, and then I'm going to push through. And as I push through with my hip, I'm feeling a stretch in my right side. So from my right hip flexor down into my right quad. So we're going to just hold here. We'll be there about 30 seconds. If you want to relax, you can push back and then push forward again and do it more in uh, repetitions rather than a straight hold. We'll go 10 more seconds here, and then we'll be switching legs. 
and important when you do these two, try not, you don't need to go into an arching of the back like that. Don't exaggerate that, just push through with your hip. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and place my left back, my right's forward, and let's go ahead and engage. Shift that weight forward, feel that pull now from the left hip flexor down into the left quad. We're here for another 20 seconds. And 10 more seconds. And three, two, one. All right. Now coming back up here, we're going to focus on our neck. Okay, I want you to be careful with this one. We're going to stretch the neck out a little bit. Don't go too far that it becomes uncomfortable for it. We just want a slight stretch with this. So I'm going to put hand on the side of my head, one underneath the chin, one here, tilt. And it's just a slight tilt right now, and I feel a pull on this side of my neck. All right, so we're going to continue holding right here. And now I'm going to go ahead and switch to the other side. So I'm going to go hand on top. Closing. Mm -hmm. So hopefully you guys can see and hear me still. Right now that my video is frozen, I haven't seen any messages come across. Turn the Finishing up that tilt there. Why don't you go check with Kristen? I'll keep going. All right. I'm going to go ahead now, keep moving along. I think you guys can still see and hear me, so I don't know what's going on my end. Thank you for confirming, guys. So we're done with the neck stretch, and now I'm going to go into a chest stretch. Okay, so when we're doing this, you can either interlock here, or you can go straight arms. I'm going to go straight arms and then show you from here. So I'm here, and then all you're doing is you're going to just kind of raise here, whatever your shoulder mobility allows you to. The higher you go, the more you're going to feel here. Now, if you feel like you can't do that without doing this, then I want you to just try the elbows interlocked, and you can just kind of slowly raise away. So elbows interlocked or straight. we got 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and good. We're going to come back into the hips, and we're going to work our hip mobility with it. So I'm going to stand again by my chair, the file cabinet. We could tilt the camera down, which our video is still frozen, so hopefully the way we're tilting this looks okay. As I stand up nice and tall, I'm going to kick out to the side, come across my body. Out to the side, come across my body. And everyone's going to have a different range of motion, so just go as far as your body allows you to, try to stay in a straight line so you're not shifting side to side. Do two more swings on this leg. All right, now I'll go ahead and work the other leg. I'm going to balance, stay up nice and tall, out to the side, then back across the body. Three more to go. And good job. So we should really feel that open up our hips a little bit more, especially targeting more of the side. And then we're into our last move here, and we're going to go into just a static stretch for our hamstrings. Chair is going to be optional, so I'm going to show you your first version. Just go ahead and heel on the ground. I know that might be hard to see, but imagine heel on the ground, toes pointing up, and a standing hamstring I would tilt forward. I feel that pull from my calf all the way into my hamstring. If you have a chair that's not going to roll around or you feel safe on balance, you can place your foot elevated position, and then I'm just going to tilt forward from here. Okay, so I'll continue to show this, and you can probably see it a little better. It's not as low. We're holding here. Feel that stretch in the back of the leg. 
Ten more seconds and we'll switch. Three, two, one, and then last stretch of the day. If you're on the ground, heel with the toes up and tilt or back on top of that chair. Make sure you continue good breathing with this. And then last 10 seconds here. Three, two, one. All right, everybody, excellent job today. Thanks for joining me for our first Cube Fit. Uh, we'll be back teaching Cube Fit tomorrow at 11 to 15 for another stretch. We'll get this video recorded and uploaded to our YouTube so that if you guys ever want to check it out at any time, uh, it's available for you. Uh, any questions, feedback, we always appreciate that. So feel free to send us an email. Hope you are feeling a little more energized for the rest of your day. Enjoy it, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone.